welcome back. In today's lesson, we are going to be modeling the Think Aloud strategy. A Think Aloud is a reading comprehension strategy where readers say out loud what they are thinking or say what other inner conversations are going on in their heads while they read. Think alouds help students to monitor their thinking as they read a given passage. Think alouds reveal how well students are understanding the text. As students become familiar with the technique, they learn to generate their own questions and inner conversations as they read. Follow along as we read the story and model how to think aloud. Try to generate your own questions and inner conversations. Papa, please get the mon for me. Does that sound right? Oh, look at the picture. Oh, that's moon. Papa, please get the moon for me. Before Monica went to bed, she looked out of her window and saw the moon. The moon looked so near. I wish I could play with the moon, thought Monica, and reached for it. Oh, this reminds me of a time when we went to Bathway. It was moonlight and the moon was looking so big. Papa, said Monica to her father, please get the moon for me. Papa got a very long ladder. He carried the very long ladder to a very high mountain. Then Papa put the very long ladder on top of the very high mountain. I wonder if he's going to reach it. Then up and up and up he climbed. I think this ladder is going to be too short. Nobody could climb to reach the moon. Finally, Papa got to the moon. I can't wait to see what's going to happen next. My daughter, Monica, would like to play with you. But you are much too big, said father. I can't believe he did all this work for nothing. Every night, I get a little smaller, said the moon. When I am just the right size, you can come back and take me with you. And indeed, the moon got smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh yes, the moon sometimes just gets small in real life. When the moon was just the right size, Papa took it. Down and down and down he climbed. Papa has to be very careful. Oh no, I hope he doesn't fall. Here, 
said Papa to Monica. I have the moon for you. Monica jumped and danced with the moon. Wow, she's so happy. Look at her. Her father must really love her. She huge the moon and threw it into the air. Is that so right? I've never seen that word before. Let me see if I could figure that out. Um, oh, there's a small word inside the big word. Oh, she hugged the moon and threw it into the air. But the moon kept getting smaller and smaller and smaller and finally it disappeared all together. I wonder if she's sad. I wonder how she feels. Then one night, Monica saw a thin slil slil sliver of the moon reappear. Each night, the moon grew and grew and grew and grew. Sliver. I'll have to check the dictionary or maybe ask Miss. I don't know this word. The end. Wow, that was a great story. I love the story. I want to read it again. Are you ready to practice? Choose a story and try to generate questions and conversations about the text as you read. Write them in your book. If this video was helpful to you, please click the like button and share it with a friend. My name is Natalie Pear and I want to thank you so much for viewing. Please join me again next time for more literacy tips and tricks by subscribing to my channel.